this is these are meters, right? Yeah. No, okay. Yes, it is. Yeah, I just want to specify a um, constant separation, which is going to be the first one. But I'm going to change it later on because this is going to give me uniform, you know. Mm -hmm. you know but they're all about the same, though. It's all about point zero two, point zero two. Yeah. yeah, I don't know if that's because you know when I did the math, I actually assumed L was point zero two. I have a rough estimate of what E should be. Mm -hmm. Point zero two. Yeah, two meters. But then, what's the vertical deformation? Wait, those vary. But because the thing is that. see the, that image again? Yeah. Oh, so it's two meter deformation. Because the thing is, gosh. No, well, yeah, I, mean, it, yeah, I think it, it's it, going to work. It's, it, it drops down like. I don't know if it's worth it to move it a little bit. 22 millimeters. Oh, um, but that's after it dropped. No, but no. You want the rest? From rest to, to drop in? Yeah. No, I mean to, to, to introduce the real values here. I don't know if it's worth it, you know, to. Can you put an elastic element in SAP? Yeah. Just so like the algae. So say if you had two columns supporting the filament, they could drop and stretch without pulling the columns with them. Yeah, but that's a cable element. Yeah, isn't that what we're doing? No, we're not doing a cable. Cable, it's more complicated to do. Yeah. In, in my thesis, I wrote, the reason cable would define the, the thing better, but the problem is it's, it's hard to extract property values from like a cable model. That's why I decided to go with the yeah. function. Mm, we can introduce this. So this is going to be the location of this point is going to be twenty two point seven plus of this will be um, this guy no. come on come on where is the grid line Plus twenty seven point four. Okay. okay, and the location of this point is going to be no.
plus and two point three. No, I guess I'm error here, man. Come on. Okay, this is twenty two point seven. That's fine. Oh, we are missing one segment. Okay, no problem. So, could you add it from there? Do you have to start over? No, 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 we can add it from there. Twenty six point seven. Da, da, da. We were fine here. Da, da, da. Plus, then we have. Uh, what do you want to set here? It's one, two, three, four. Twenty three point three. Twenty three point three. That's number four. And then this is the three. Plus. An edit. This is an edit. Yeah, we replicate. This is twenty three point one. See? Okay. Now we have a structure. Oh, okay. Okay, so we have the real dimensions. Now we I will assign support. To the file, where is he? Is this guy? Join restraints I create a pin connection. Okay, and we have a pin connection in both sides. And Now I need to define the section properties. Uh, do you have the diameters and all this information? Yeah. So we're gonna call it the all they all have different sizes, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. How about this? We're gonna call it circle one. This is fine, whatever. The diameter will be This overlap with this one. So this is with this one. But oh, so this he, one. he said this one. I forgot to reference that. But this one is with this. <laughs> this one is with this. Yeah, yeah but so see, this, this one, one needs a repeat. Mm -hmm. This one. This one with the diameter. Yeah. You can't see this one. Let me. I have the arc that I'll just go there. This is going to be C2. Let's use this one first. Oh, you already know them all. C1, C2, this is going to be 2.7. This is going to be 20.3. And now we have C4. Yeah, which is 2.8. What is 2.9? That's 0 0.009. You, you did this one twice, right? That's nine. Four. That's right? nine. Yeah, that's nine. Oh, maybe there's a picture version. Um, right there, 
much faster. Right there. Oh, yeah. Look, I'm still missing that last time. Three millimeters. And double the six. It's not three millimeters, it's six point three millimeters. And then we have and then we have C seven, which is I don't know, eight millimeters. Yeah, you can just guess to me. <laughs> it's like bigger. <laughs> no, there you go. Put eight. One, two, three, four, five. I put 8 millimeters, I don't know. You guys will yeah. interview that. That's, a, that's like 776. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's like 80 something. Are we really going to guess that? Because the autocad takes. Oh, I just told you. <laughs> <laughs> autocad takes forever to open. He's like, autocad takes forever to open. I'll look at that right there. Ten point four. It, the number is point zero one zero four meters. So it'll be ten point four millimeters. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Okay. So now we have to define this upper section, right? So it's going to be here frame, and then it's a new property, other and non non prismatic section. This one. So we're gonna call this B one. We're gonna have six of those, and the beginning will be section one, and then the end will be set C two, you know, because I call it C one, C two, C three, C four, C seven. Mm -hmm. and the length it is point zero two. One, but I'm going to specify. Let me see. Pursuit, no viable. Um, yeah, viable. Because if I use absolute, I think I had to introduce the real dimension. So I guess if I use one, it's going to be like 100%. And the variation is linear. Let's see. I'm going to align translation three two. Now I'm going to see the extruded version. See? It doesn't really look like that. Hmm? Look, no, no, no. I'm just using this for some reference. Oh. Uh, now I'm going to define the second one. Oh, okay. I'm defining the eighth second. Now I'm going to def uh, find or uh, define sections. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then now we're gonna have the start section will be C two and the end will be C three. Mm -hmm. See, modify. Okay. Um, that would be B two. Okay. You see. Now we. Are you just on that? Yeah. End? And we're going to do the same thing. Frame section B one B two. Copy of property. This is gonna be B three. But now we will have C3 to C4. Cool. Now, same thing with the element, frame section, mm, copy of property, B3. 
and the other thing's going to be C4 and C5, modify, OK, OK. Yeah. Now we are going to R1, R2, 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 R2,
get it from your dissertation because otherwise it's going to be it's a random thing. You I have the mean? thesis, yeah. Oh, yeah. In the new? I don't have. Hopefully. Search it. Search it the value. Remember we were finding this stiffness, the young modules. It was like 7 megapascal? I think the 7, yeah, 7.2. I don't remember the whole thing. You were searching the result. Oh, you know what? I think I wrote it in the beginning. 7.6 megapascals. See, I was there. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, 7.6 with the power of 6. Newton per meter square, right? Megapascal, yeah, it's power 6, right? Good. Okay, so we're going to start with that value. And if everything goes fine, now we have to assign, because um, I didn't do that, I have to assign these in material and section properties. I didn't do that at the beginning. For each bin, you have to assign these. I don't know what, what my section Here, for each section, we have to assign the material. Now it adds you. Oh, I think I can. No, I have to modify it. Or oh, everything by individual. Yeah, it's so individual. C3, C4, C5. Just need to check if I have found uh, find the properties. Yeah, properties. Okay, properties fine. Yeah, all of them are selected means that I assign the right properties. Okay. <coughs> so if everything is fine, uh, now that I'm going to run the analysis um, and I'm going to apply these displacements, we should get something that looks close to the forces that you're getting the self-weight of the bin. Oh, right, so you have to double check the forces and see if we are going to get the same sort of forces there. It's like this, right? Yeah. All we are going to get exactly the same deform shape, but I don't know or if we will get the same forces. Now what I I don't know if I can see we don't see we won't see the reactions. But we will estimate the self, the total weight of the of the piece, right? Yeah. So if you add up all these numbers, what well, what's the total weight of the piece? Let me run it. Let me run this now. See what. Running. Oh, we have to save it. Oh, let me have the USB. If you want to save it onto that. Yeah, but it didn't work. Why did it work? See, oh. no, don't tell me. Oh, man. Oh, this happens to me every time. And it's going to close, and you're going to have to restart the whole thing. Well, now you have the video. You can see it by now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even kidding. Man, like this is shit. Oh, I mean, it 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 happens to me every time yeah, I try to it's save a crappy something. Thing. It's not going to respond. Boy. That's just letting you know now. Yeah. <laughs> is it just because the computer's slow? I don't, it's I a stupid know computer, man. Come on. Come on, don't do this. If it ain't one thing, it's another. Right? <laughs> you you don't, don't ever open that folder. Like... When you're going to save something, just go somewhere else. That's not that folder. It's a stupid thing, you know? Come on. It happened to me three times. I, I might need to borrow your pirated. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> is there a way to install SAP 2000 on a, a regular computer? Yeah. Because I got a, I got a really good one in Jarvis. I should be able to handle it. No yeah, problem. yeah. Because this, come on. Come on. Don't do this. Uh, it's not gonna work. 
Um, then you close it and it closes the whole program. Yeah. Let me see if I sometimes there is some uh, something in the temporary memory of these things. Let's see. Let's see. Maybe there is something there. No, it doesn't. It wasn't even. It was. <laughs> no idea what am I doing. It wasn't even saying. It. Any, anywhere. So, do you guys want to do it again? <laughs> See if, <laughs> uh, if you check the video. <laughs> yeah, it should be there. The video. Um, yeah. No, we, yeah, you just have one so, cursing. So,